Yeah, Cynthia, with this rollout well underway, uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel, but we know that there are many who are curious about this process and the COVID-19 vaccine. So earlier today, we put the call out. We asked our viewers what questions and concerns they have, and we took those straight to an expert. First on the list, questions around the timeline to get the vaccines, make the vaccines, and get them approved here in Canada. The COVID vaccines have definitely been um, gone from idea to manufacturing and, and will be into people's arms much faster than the usual um, timeline for vaccines. But that is not because um, corners have been cut or you know safety has been compromised. Um, what's happened is that you know many of these conceptual ideas like mRNA, like adenovirus, um, have been worked on for you know well over a decade. In some cases, 20 years. And when the COVID virus came on, um, the, the researchers or the companies just took those ideas and said, you know, let's apply it to COVID-19. Um, and, and that made things an awful lot faster because they were going on platforms that were existing. And then also what happened was, you know, a huge amount of funding became available, which is often a, a, a real difficult point for vaccine manufacture. And then most importantly, the clinical trials that had to be done, they didn't need to search for patients and wait for them. Uh, which is one of the big challenges in terms of timelines for vaccines. There were lots of COVID patients around, unfortunately. And when testing them, you know, you give placebo to one, you give the COVID vaccine to the other, and, you know, you've got your answer relatively quickly. And so that's why things have been a lot faster with the COVID-19 vaccines than we traditionally expect. Next question, uh, we got a lot of these about side effects, vaccine side effects. So the vaccines that are almost ready to be delivered into people's arms right now, the Pfizer and the Moderna and the AstraZeneca one, and the, the ones that are coming uh, upcoming soon now, have at least two months of safety data associated with them. So we know that, that they are safe you know, um, uh, up to the first two months. And, and as things roll out, you know, in the UK right now, they're getting them and we'll have an extra month or two of safety data really there before, you know, Canadians start getting the vaccine. Um, but, you know, they have proven to be safe and effective for now. Um, again, the long-term side effects, um, you know, we don't have a lot of vaccines or any vaccines really that have long-term side effects uh, as, as far as we know right now. And we've given billions of doses of, of vaccines um, over the past you know, 50, 70 years. And so we have a lot of excellent data um, from vaccines in general. These are new technologies, um, but you know, we can go with what we know already is that you know, we really look for those short-term side effects and most of them right now have been you know, soreness of the arm, a little bit of a potentially a fever, and that really just shows that the vaccine is working. Um, but I don't expect uh, long-term side effects, but 100% that is something that every regulator around the world is gonna be monitoring. What, what exactly um, is in the vaccine itself or the vaccines? I can definitely tell you that none of the vaccines that are currently be studied, being studied are live vaccines. In other words, none of them put a live vaccine into you and, and, and through that generate immunity. So, you know, three vaccines that do put a live attenuated vaccine, so a vaccine that does not cause disease, but that actually causes a very good response are measles, mumps, and rubella. But we know those are exceptionally safe vaccines. And the great thing about them is actually they're very safe and very effective. So if we had a live COVID-19 vaccine that was studied, you know, I would think that would be a great development, but none of the vaccines right now are live and, and cannot cause disease uh, related to COVID-19 itself. And coming up a bit later on in the show, we ask more of your questions. Our expert on uh, vaccine effectiveness and what these vaccines are actually going to protect you against.